In a rematch of the GLSCL Championship Series, it was a tough one for the Southern Ohio Copperheads who fall in both games of a doubleheader to the Lima Locos. The final score of the first game was 2-1, to one, second was 6-4. to four. We saw a lot of great pitching on both sides, but at the end of the day, it was the Lima Locos who took advantage of the opportunities that were given, and that's why they won these games. Yeah, definitely. It was the first game the Copperheads took that one nothing lead, and it was great pitching from both sides. Jeremy Gooding was fantastic. Eric Frederick was just as good. I mean, the fact is that Frederick, I mean, only made one mistake in that game. It was a solo shot home run. Tied the game up. The Copperheads had chances at the end of the first game. They had played Salter on third base, one out, could not get him in with two chances. Um, and credit the good pitching from the Locos as well. Eric Frederick win the complete game, but it was a tough loss. A ball uh, to Blaze Salter, threw down to third, bounced off the bat of, of you know, the hitter, uh, and went down into foul territory. The run came around to score. Very, very tough loss in the first one. They had chances, but you know, great pitching from Eric Frederick and, and, and great pitching from the Lima Locos as well. Yeah, and the second game was kind of a similar story. The pitching wasn't as good, but in terms of mistakes and kind of blown opportunities we saw a lot of that as the copperheads fell behind early they were down three to nothing then they added a miraculous yeah. rally i mean one of the coolest things that we've seen all season long as matt lopez hits a three-run home run to tie it up and then immediately after back-to-back -back job as ben otto hits a solo shot to the deepest part of the park they were up six or four to three then joey rocha comes on he struggles a little bit he gives up three runs and the copperheads fall six to four Really a frustrating turn of events. Yeah, it really was. I mean, you went down, you know, in that game three nothing, and you're thinking, oh man, because you know Botcher had 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 set down 14 in a row, and then you brought up. Um, you know, Ben Netzel and, and Mike Fish, who both got on. Netzel with the base hit, uh, Fish with the uh, walk, and then Matt Lopez crushed one over the fence uh, in right field. Then you brought up Ben Otto and, and, you know, shocked the crowd and put Lima into shock with a, you know, a blast over the center field fence, an absolute bomb over 400 feet from Ben Otto, his second of the season. And he crushed it and you took the lead, but then the bullpen wasn't very good. You went down, um, you know, Joey Rocha struggled. Tyler Isbell was good. That was just another tough loss on the road and it was a long day in the heat I mean, we got over 100 degrees here on independence day a long day here in lima and the copperheads are going to be happy to go home tonight and get some rest in their own bed so the five game winning streak is over it has now become a two game losing streak as the copperheads fall to nine and seven on the regular season at least they're above 500 they're not going to fall much in the standings because of this loss and they'll be right back in action tomorrow as they take on the hamilton joes it'll be the third time we've been to that ballpark so make sure you tune into copper Baseball.com to listen to Jake and I as we have the call and also make sure you tune into all of the other content that we have for you either go to our team website go to Facebook go to Twitter and most importantly go to the YouTube page search for Copperheads Baseball you'll find all that we have with that being said he's Jacob Corgan I'm Ryan Boyd and this has been a Copperheads recap